In this video, we're going to do a Hello World of Export Excel. We'll take a look at some parameters. We'll look at the Help on Export Excel. We'll look at the Now Switch. And we'll look at the Path and Show variables parameters as well. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the Help Export Excel. You can see there's a lot of uh, parameters on there. Lots to learn, lots to take advantage of. You can also look at the examples. You can work from those. For now, let's take a look at using it with some, some data. So if I look at Get Service, I want to take the Get Service information and I want to export it to Excel. The simplest way to do it, to get started, is we can port it, export it to Excel and use the hyphen now switch. This does several things for you. Let's run it and see what happens. It takes the data from Get Service and it exports it to Excel. It launches Excel for you and we also get auto filtering. Gets, that gets set up as well as auto sizing. And what does that mean? So in Excel you can have auto filtering which takes the unique items in the column and makes them available to you. So you can then do things like I want to see anything that begins with app and you can filter down your list. We can clear that filter and that works across all of the different properties that we exported from that collection of data. So that's pretty simple. You can just try that again. So you take whatever data you want. In this case we're just going to use get service as an example. You pipe it to export Excel, use the now parameter, and it will create the Excel spreadsheet, do a whole bunch of good things for you, and launch Excel for you. Next up, let's take a look at how you can have more control over this. So that previous example I use a lot just to knock data out so I can see what, uh, what it looks like in Excel. And once I'm comfortable with what it looks like, then I want to get a little bit more particular and have more control. So we can start again with get service. I can say export Excel. I can use the path, or in this case, I'll just do uh, something like temp. Now, if I just do this, in fact, what happened is it actually exported the data. And we can prove that by saying, we can actually run this. And there's the data. Notice this time there's no filters as we saw in the previous example and the data looks pretty compact. It's not very readable. Let's fix some of those pieces. Now I like to remove the file uh, when I'm working like this. That way I don't get any leftover contaminants. So if I run this again kind of annoying to have to constantly launch the, the file separately so that's why there's the the show switch it will actually create it and it'll show the file the reason that is is if you keep the show off you can actually run this on a server and use export Excel on a server and generate files here and there and you have no interaction so it can be run unattended we can auto size it and we can set the auto filter. Let's take a look at what that does. So this is the file. This is what you get for using hyphen now. Hyphen now actually sets a file name automatically for you as the show parameter does the auto sizing and auto filtering. So that's the hello world. Up in the next videos we'll take a look at how to get more sophisticated.